If, if I were to, to, to choose between the iPhone 5 and the 4S, I'd choose uh, the 5. The new iPhone 5 does look a lot nicer than the iPhone 4S. It's uh, lighter, feels nicer in the hand. Um, I like the display. This is probably the first time that I've actually had a proper good look and feel of this phone and it's, it feels good in the hand, it's nice and light. Obviously the weight makes a huge difference. It's got a slim design, like it's less heavy, like less bulky. It's much lighter than the previous one. It looks quite streamlined and sleek, I would say. Um, but I suppose also I'm used to seeing people with the 4S with the cover on as well and that makes it look more bulky. The screen itself is much more smoother. Even compared to the iPad, I felt like it was, um, it was a, gr a good change. iPhone 5 is very sexy, continues the iPhone's trends exactly as you'd expect, uh, but it's also falling further behind. I think you know, if the S2 is now a relatively elderly phone and it has a bigger screen, so even the uh, the larger screen of the iPhone 5 still puts it behind where the market may want to be. Um, does have the fantastic retina display, which helps. The thing that I find that's really wrong with the iPhone at the moment is that their screens are generally pretty small. I think that the way the phones are heading, you know, we're seeing like these phablets that are coming out, which have these bigger screen sizes. Well, I suppose getting used to this, this kind of looks like it's a baby sister almost. Um, so it would take some getting used to. Oh wow, even when you turn it on, it's very tiny. I'll go for the uh, Galaxy 3 because you can actually read uh, a book on there, which I think the iPhone 5 list looks a little bit smaller to do uh, some of those things. It um, has a slightly awkward uh, resolution screen now uh, in terms of letterboxing applications, which is a little bit odd. So developers now have to develop for it in particular, which is a bit of a pain. And I really don't like Apple products. I'd never consider buying an iPhone simply because I don't like the lack of custom customization. They're overpriced and they're a closed system. There's no, not enough modification. I don't like my hardware telling me what to do as opposed to me telling my hardware what to do. So you can't tailor it to your own needs. Well, I'd rather wait for the HTC Butterfly or the Samsung Galaxy S4, which has a full HD resolution, which I believe is a lot higher than this. The fact that the iPhone um, um, 5 is, is LTE compliant is, is a big bonus but of course you know a lot of markets such as South Africa have to still kind of catch up to that we don't really have an extensive LTE network yet um, the phones aren't necessarily compliant with our LTE networks so I think that there's quite a few sort of issues in terms of that because of uh, issues to do with internet free cheap internet that's why I'll go for a Blackberry for now but in terms of you know just the coolness of the devices maybe that's why I might consider an iPhone. So I had a Blackberry before. The Blackberry, yeah. the torch. It's heavy and freezes a lot and it's brand new. Which didn't work for me it kept cutting out and all of that so yeah with an iPhone, you can't even take the battery out, so it just works. It has the Apple cachet. I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. It's small, it's sleek. It's an Apple, so you don't really have to defend yourself. 